the starters arrive for the donkey sanctuary. But just when I thought it was all going to plan, Alex has forgotten to serve the wine. How can we put the starters down without serving the wine? Um, of all tables. Come on. At nine o'clock, the restaurant's full. But bizarrely, there's a backlog of people waiting for tables. It's Alex's responsibility to get them seated, but he's flapping around like a headless chicken. What's going on with this fucking table that's waiting in the bar for so long? Uh, Danny, table six. Table six, yeah. I double booked it, you see, at the start of the night, and I had to tell them that, you know, we need to have the table back. Who um, did you tell you needed the table back? The customer? The customer, yeah. What about the fucking kitchen? They need to know first, because they've got to cook it. Yeah. So they move your ass, sir. For some bizarre reason, Alex has got tables double booked within an hour. No one can eat anything within an hour. Embarrassing. I mean, fucking embarrassing. Alex has simply got greedy in thinking they can turn tables around in an hour. As a result, people are turning up for the reservations but have nowhere to sit. And in the kitchen, Lawrence is now struggling with a backlog of orders. Table. On top of all that, Alex has now gone into meltdown. Alex, get a grip. Alex, you can do it, Alex. I know, I know. You can fucking do it. We're waiting on you. I know you're waiting on me, and I really appreciate this. This is fucking critical. Go. Come on, Alex, please. We waited for 40 minutes for a starter, then sat with dirty plates for 45 minutes. And then we were asked to leave the table because the next lot of um, guests arrived. Five plates, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Five? Five. Although under pressure, Lawrence is at least coping with my reduced menu. Yeah, you got three serrano, three watermelon, yeah. We'll finish us off in a minute as soon as I get these out. I can only be grateful that Lawrence got the Donkey Sanctuary main courses out before the shit hit the fan. Very, very nice. I mean, it was a lot nicer than chicken banana. I must admit. Well, the food is actually very good. Um, I think everybody is quite pleased with the food. If he can come up with this sort of deal, yes, we'll be back again. Good. But the service leaves, leaves quite a little bit to be desired, I think. A lot more work on the service. It's the end of the evening, and Lawrence's cooking has been a success. But Alex's double booking madness has let everyone down. We're so close, Alex. So close. You can do better. I know I can do better. You can do better. I know, I know I can do better. Turn around and tell him that. He's paying your salary. Do we say our prayers now? <laughs> I'm shaking like a leaf inside. I don't know whether I'm on this planet, next planet, but I'm definitely on a traditional pub planet. He better be. The pub is packed out tonight, but if Brian and Elaine are going to start paying off their huge debts, this can't be a one-off. 16 minutes from the start of the main course game. Two roast beef. Let's keep it like this. First table, keep yep. it like this, yeah? Rapido. Okay. Here we go. Ooh. Uh, last out of those cobwebs. For the first time ever, they're aiming to fill the dining room twice over. So they can't waste time pouring wine or gravy for the customers tonight. Mr. Foster, yes, you've got him on table four. Oh, he needs to be on three, sorry. Right. Did you wait long? No. 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 Five, minutes. Five minutes. Perfect. Gravy happy with? Gravy, Yorkshire pudding, sensation. Fantastic. So far, so good. The kitchen seems to be coping well under pressure. No, just be careful. All these main courses flying out now. Dessert's next. Right, how many have we done? Uh, I'm just about 40, so maybe yeah, a bit more. Yeah, about 45. Just go up to 50. Yeah, over halfway. Yeah, keep it going. Yes. But out front, there's a disaster waiting to happen. It's 8:30, and they're slipping into old habits. The bar is full of people waiting to be seated. Brian and Elaine haven't got the first customers off the tables yet. Uh, Brian. We've got a bit of a queue forming, yeah? Can we yes. sit some guests down? Yes, we're just yes. trying to get them to move the tables okay. to sit them down. If they don't move, tell right, me. Where's the Rioja? Um, I'll get somebody to bring the bill for you. Thanks. We've got to get them out of these tables now. You know that's so where yep. we've got to be firm now, yes? Yep. 
what we're finding hard to transition is not a restaurant, it's a pub. Yep. So don't be scared after one, one hour, 55 minutes, would you mind taking coffee in the bar or come and have a drink in the bar? Change those tables. Yep. If you don't do that in the next 15 minutes, we're going to be in the fucking shit. Have you got a bill for table that one? Whichever one it is. It's been touch and go, but at last the second sitting are at their tables. That's the hardest thing right now, isn't it? Yeah. Got to turn it around. And for the first time ever, it's starting to run like a pub. If we get through this one tonight and he pulls it off, you know, I'll, I'll be a lot happier. Of course I'll be a lot happier. My worry is in the kitchen. Not with Tim, but with Nick. If he gets in the shit early on, let's hope he's got the charisma, the personality, the drive, the determination to get out of it. This is not just a man starting off afresh. This is a man that is desperately in the shit, up to his eyeballs, with 100 grand of debt, and fuck me, every plate he cooks, he has to really seriously mean it. OK, one crispy duck salad on order. Yes, Two gazpacho. Yeah. Chicken mackerel lamb. Nice, absolutely stunning. Good. Two souffle, they're very hot, Lawrence. Please be careful, yes? Excellent. The start has gone within seven minutes. Fantastic. Maggie's is filling up with the locals. There'll be more people in tonight than Nick would usually have in all week. How long can you duck him? When did he win you up? OK, duck down. Yeah? Yes. Good. Nice. Thank you. That's fine. Let's, don't play with it. Don't play with it. Please. Despite Please. the fact that we got rid of Nick's fancy ingredients, he's still fiddling. He can't afford to switch off tonight. What are those little burnt bits in the potato there? What are they? Ash uh, has to try some of the peas. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Nick. Get Tim to put the peas and feathers around there. Tim, yes, sure. get the peas and broad beans. Don't keep on squashing it down so much. Should be a little hot yet. Get over here. Calm down, just slow down, guys, and work as a team like you're sort of almost in love with each other. There you go. The new menu's doing the trick. The pace is picked up in the kitchen. But it's getting busy, and now Nick has taken his eye off the orders. Yeah, you know that guys, table two is already gone. Thank you. What do you mean? Where's that ticket, please, Tim? What is going on? Well, Thank you. That's all I want. What is going on? I don't know what's going. This never happens. Thank you. Oh. Just, just, Nick, stop, my man. Yeah, we're doing the same course again twice over. It's all right. The next order's a ch chicken and a mackerel. Come on, guys, not tonight. I've all not, not tonight, yeah? I didn't, I didn't know you had a lamb on there. I thought it was a chicken and a mackerel. Chicken and a mackerel. Take... Oh, take... Oh, take that one with you. Ah. Nick's just screwed himself. They've just started to cook one table's order twice over. Brilliant. It doesn't need to be as panicky as it is. Fuck me, this is home cooking. Big deep breath and just compose yourself and be comfortable doing three or four things at the same time and bring it together. The restaurant is now at his busiest, so if Nick doesn't take control now, we're in trouble. Oh, bollocks, it's sinking. Tim, we need two ducks now. Move it, move it. Come on, service please, we've got three souffles out. Yep, the nine, do it. Two souffles, three duck, yeah? Two souffles, three yes, duck. Yes, chef, please. Thank you. Right, we've got seven chicken, two lamb, yeah? Yes, chef. And you've got your sides on the go, yes? Pardon? You've got your side orders on the go, chef? No soup, saute. It's going to be carrots, Gordon. Finally, for the first time this week, I'm beginning to see Nick might just have what it takes to run his restaurant. Nine, eight, four, two, seven. Right, the souffle. Twenty-five seconds, thirty seconds. Plating the chicken, Tim. Are you ready with that souffle? Nearly, chef. Finish with the ducks, here, Tim. We're through the worst. All the mains have been served, and I think Nick's even enjoyed himself. Just there, you know that, Nick. Just. Laura has finished sulking and has decided to lend a hand. Laura, welcome back. Thank you. Concerned about assistant manager, manager, or just concerned about running the place? Just concerned that the place is running smoothly. Good. I've still expected him to roar, but for now, Hello? I'm quite happy. I'm quite stable. He unsettles me. <laughs> Fucking big night tonight, yeah? Could be something quite major. Don't fuck it. When the shit hits the fan, we stay united. We've all got our jobs to do with no interference. No interference. I'm very happy. I'm very happy to take a back seat. 
the celebrities have taken the bait. First in are Hollyoaks stars Sarah Dunn and Jennifer Biddle. The footballers' wives have come too, including Louise Owen, Michael's wife. And next in is Sherry Murphy. Where wags hang out, others will surely follow. My strategy has paid off. Good to see you. Hungry? Starving. Yes. Gonna eat dessert as well. Yeah. There are no skinny minis here, are there? We've got proper, uh, proper, no, like proper foodies. Okay, who doesn't need to be behind the bar? There's no one on the floor, there's five people behind the bar. Helen's cracking the whip and keeping Sandy and the waitresses in line. The new menu's going down well. Can I get the roast chicken please? Table seven, just have three chicken. But Phil has a problem. Laura, an order's been taken. You took it on table six and there's no check in the kitchen and nothing on the top there. An order has gone missing and the customers are waiting. We They've been waiting one? 20 minutes. Can you go and sort it out, please? Did you get a table six in? No. No? Come on, guys. It was the um, smoked salmon. Smoked salmon for me and chicken and lamb. Start us out straight away, please, Em, yeah? It's not your fault, yeah? One adult, one salmon, one chicken, one lamb, please, Phil, yeah? Try and push that table forward, fuck yeah. it now. I might like tonight, Joey. You know I mean? Thank fuck the kitchen solid, that's all I'm saying. Oh, God. Two risottos, yes? Yes. Good man. Don't drop, yeah? No. Will Phil keep his concentration and cook my menu well enough to impress Walton's glitterati? This is too more fucking nothing. It's very hard to keep fucking concentration. Despite the cock-up, everyone seems happy. I just hope the customers want to bid for Sandy's antiques. Sandy may be clueless about running restaurants, but when it comes to selling antiques, she's a natural. Mr Ramsey, what are we going to start it off as? £20. Pounds. Right, somebody will bid me £20. Pounds. <laughs> £20 pounds is bid. £20. £30. <laughs> Any advance on board? £50. £50 is bid. One that's our sold to the chicken. £70 over there. £80, £90, £100. That's your bid. Thank you. Dirty chef's a happy chef. Like a pig in shit. Let's go, we have table 10. 45, thank you. We're selling at 45 pounds now. I'll get it, I'll get it. Oh, 50 oh. just in time. Oh. 50 pounds. 50. The local celebrities are flashing their cash, but what do they think of the food? It's very nice. <laughs> it's delicious, actually, because it's a bit crispy, but it's also very tender as well. It's lovely, really, really nice. I'm really impressed. I'll definitely come back again. It's been somewhere that I've never actually come along to because I've heard good and bad things about it. But, um, yeah, definitely come back. Phil's cooked his heart out and not burnt a thing. I feel more in control. <laughs> as he says, as he just fucking knocked the salt over. Fucking hell. What a swat. <laughs>